Is the mandolin the most dangerous piece of equipment in the kitchen? It is by far the thing that scares me the most. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I've only shaved a little bit of my thumb off one time. So, <laughs> multiple times. <laughs> I can imagine. Hey everyone, welcome to Chicago Magazine's In the Kitchen Live. My name is Emily Johnson. I'm the Deputy Design Director at the magazine and your host. And tonight I am joined by Executive Chef and Proprietor of Daisy's, Joe Froman. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Thanks for being here. So Chef, let's get started. All right. First thing that we're going to do is actually put the cookies in the oven so that they are cooled by the time that uh, the dinner is complete. Take them out on your cookie tray and into the oven. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can help you. Yeah, this one. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm going to set a timer for about 10 minutes, uh, and then we will check just to see where we are so they won't burn the cookies. You always, always set a timer so you don't burn the cookies. I kind of like my cookies raw oh. in the middle anyways. <laughs> First course outside of that is the onion dip. Um, we make this in-house. This is something that I cannot stop eating. I cannot <laughs> stop eating. Super simple, super quick, just to get, I know everybody's probably hangry from maybe your commute yeah. <laughs> from work. From the couch. From the couch. <laughs> so um, it's honestly as simple as that. Should we try it? I think we should try it. You got it, you got it. <laughs> yeah. I've been waiting all day for this. <laughs> mm. It's been a slow day then. Oh. It's so good. Um, mm. Mm. Very good. Mm. Awesome. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That just blew my mind. No, it's, it's, <laughs> what it is, it's simple. Mm -hmm. um, it's salty, it's savory, it's creamy. Absolutely. Cheers, chef. Cheers. <laughs> we, we could have made this as easy as possible and just given you pasta. We're going to make you roll it out by hand. Um, all you need is basically the, the pasta dough that we included in your kit and then a rolling pin. This is about an eight ounce ball, so hopefully it doesn't take that long to roll out. Um, this I'm is, so excited for this. And we're not going to roll it paper thin. A little bit of that flour, like we were saying. We kind of just want to dust. And as you can see, it just kind of, as it gets to an oval shape, you're just going to turn it and take it the other direction. And if the pasta dough is really bouncing back on you, you can let it sit for a couple minutes and it'll come back and it will allow you to keep going. Super, super easy, to be honest with you. It's just um, determination. Looks like a lot of work from here, but I, <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to try it. Uh, by all means, take it to a cutting board, please, before you do anything. If you don't know, put it on a cutting board. Yeah. You're not pressing on it, you're just gently kind of folding over. Cool. That looks great. It looks All right. like a crepe. Just kind of making a wider noodle. Got it. And it's cool that it's rounded. You you get the, the kind of... Yeah, that's... Where that's how you can tell it's rustic, it's rustic. and homemade. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's no store-bought pasta. Nope. You, have you ranked your favorite pasta shapes? My favorite pasta shape is probably... Oh man, there's so many to choose from. I but know. tortellini Ooh, is definitely up there. That's a good one. I like stuffed pastas quite a bit. Look, I love all pasta. I so do I. We are going to uh, just kind of set them aside on a plate and we'll get back to these because they cook so quickly. Um, we are gonna get the rest of your guys' meal going. This is the herb salad. Uh, you should have a box full of herbs that are not picked. So again, so good. get to work and <laughs> um, start picking. And we're just gonna mix all these up. Make it rain. <laughs> In a separate bowl, I basically put the watermelon radish and the asparagus. A little bit of salt and kind of just mix it up just a little bit. And in that same package, you're gonna have the house, we have this house made buttermilk ranch. You can use as much or as little as you would like. I love a good buttermilk ranch. And you kind of just stir this up. So super simple, creamy plate. So we get it here and this is basically we're going to plate this on the bottom. All right, so the, the radishes and asparagus go on the bottom of the bowl. They do. So the thing about herbs, very fragile, very delicate. So we just put a little bit of salt on them, kind of mix it up. Once you have this and this, it's as simple as oh gosh, yeah. this. 
Um, and then when you actually eat it, you're gonna wanna mix it up. And that's the time that the herbs will get dressed with the dressing from below. But until that point, it'll kind of just be the secret underneath the herbs. I love that. Oh, <laughs> Should we try it? Yeah, absolutely, All yeah. Right. yeah. You kinda gotta dig in there and do your thing, but. Mm. That's such a good way to start a meal. And it's fresh. You know, mm -hmm. it's like... mm. All right, chef, what's next? Pasta time. Yes. So you should have two pots, one to cook the noodles, one to cook the pasta, and we're gonna marry the pasta with the sauce. Pasta goes in. So about four minutes. Make sure we reserve about a coffee mug's worth of pasta water. I feel like that's another a big pasta secret. It is. You should be tasting things kind of as you go. That's another secret. Taste stuff as you go <laughs> all the time as much as you can so that you know where secrets. you're at. Hey, you know. Stella break. Cheers. I'm so excited for this pasta. Um, I am gonna dump it in the, behind me, so. Noodles into the sauce. And you want a wooden spoon is preferred. But as we kind of get everything coated, you want to add a little bit of that kind of pasta water back to it. A couple knobs of butter. I think that's another pasta secret. Pot, I mean, it goes in everything. The key to great pasta is stirring it a lot. And as everything's kind of coming up, you're gonna to start to see everything kind of coat the noodles really well. And you can, you can hear it. This is the time I'll add Put in the oil. No, we have not put it. Oh. The olive oil. <laughs> yes. I encourage everyone to try this flippy move at home. Uh, the last thing you're always putting in is the herbs. You don't want to put, you don't want to sit there and put them back on the stove and cook them to death. This is another good trick. Yeah. Get your noodles out and you kind of just spoon the sauce over the top. And you see the, you know, just a little of that cheese. And so there you have it. Popper dough. To gobble up. Yes, I didn't know that's what it meant. A little saucy pasta on camera. I'm a little nervous, but I can do it. Mm. That's amazing. That's creamy, meaty, bright. And those noodles are insane. That's pretty good. Get out of here. <laughs> Of course it's good. This is like the perfect weekend dish. What's next, chef? Yeah, it's so good. The, um, <laughs> next I love how impressed you are. With trout. <laughs> trout. Trout. Ooh, this is the one that I've been very excited about. Yeah. Uh, go get that remaining flour that you had from rolling out your pasta. Take it out of the bag. You're gonna open it up and you're gonna have the inside of the fish. Liberally, kind of just season. What I do is I basically put skin side down and I just unfold it. Get a medium to high pan going. You are nice enough to cut everything up for everyone. Yeah, you know. You guys, I made you roll out pasta. I figure I can take you this far. <laughs> I love this. We are going to, it's a two part situation. We're going to actually cook with the butter uh, and then drain that butter off and then make a butter sauce. So we kind of pick the fish up. You want to kind of lean your pan forward and touch here and kind of just lay it down. I'm gonna add maybe a quarter of this butter. So as you can see, I turn it down just a little bit and we have this kind of starting to foam. I'm gonna turn it here, push this guy up here and we're just basically just going to baste the fish. Even though grilling is great, something about butter on everything just makes kind of everything better. Yes, brown butter smells so good. It really does. They should have a candle that's scented brown butter. Oh no, we're, see, we're all over. We're, we're on all sorts of stuff. Right? <laughs> Once you get to the point where majority of that pink hue is gone, uh -huh. you're good. Oh my gosh, this looks so delicious. So once we get to there, it's probably pretty good. And we're basically just going to bring your pan over here and onto so we will plate that skin side down. That rice bran oil, you're gonna use less of that this time than you would with the fish. More butter. More butter. And we're gonna allow that butter to basically melt foam. And as you see, everything's kind of almost there melted. Oh man, it smells so good. I will add the pickled ramps, two tablespoons of water. Take the ramp greens. 
You got some pickling liquid. We'll season with that. Take the lemons that were in there and you can put that on the actual flesh of the fish. We're going to take that trout roe into Ooh. the sauce. And immediately off the heat. Immediately off the heat. You want to get your ramps on there. It's so delicate looking, it's so beautiful. So many colors and textures. Like you eat ramps, you're going to be eating ramps for the rest of the night. That's a good uh, band name, the aggressive ramps. Oh man, the roll's incredible. It kind of pops in it's your mouth. It's a texture, right? Oh, it's so good. And the ramp is so good. That is incredible. That's good. So delicate, so well balanced. I like the pickled ramps especially. With the roe, the, that's a good combo. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is fun. We have one more thing to try before we say goodbye. Well, that cookie. Yeah, I think so, they look delicious. The like edges came out, but that'll be great. Gluten-free chocolate chip cookie. I think it's the best. That's all you got. Yeah. What could be better? Oh, these are amazing. I mean, mama mia. That's great. Okay. It's okay. These are so good. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say thanks one more time to our sponsors. Uh, ConAgra Brands, Stella Artois, 210 Design House, and Cooper's Hawk. Thank you, Chef, so much for everything. Thank you. I don't get to cook very often anymore. This is fun. <laughs> this is fun. I just awesome. write checks. <laughs> <laughs>